Okay, so I've been like about to call USPS waiting for a package of my Veracosum. Let's see if it's here because um, it's been traveling from Hawaii and it's been about a week and I'm so nervous. <sighs> my heart's been so nervous thinking should I have made this purchase, yes or not. Let's check it out. Guys, I just got these babies in from the outside. They've been traveling. I've been so nervous. They are some expensive and wishless plants in here. Oh, this is the type of heartbeat set. Get you nervous. Thinking your baby might be alive or not. I'll share with you my story just a bit. Okay, so I have my first box here that I decided to open. The one that I've been the most nervous. Why? Because it's uh, from the two plants, it's the most expensive plant. Second of all, it came from Hawaii. Um, so that means it came from a very warm climate into a very cold climate. Today's a good day. Today's a nice warm day. But all these other days that it's been traveling, there's been storms all throughout the United States. Cold storms. She did put it at the heat pack, but it was a three day heat pack. 72 hours, I think. And it's been, it was shipped last Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So it has been traveling for seven days, even though it says here that we paid for Priority Mail Express today. It's not gonna be two days, guys. If you end up paying for Express two days delivery, it's not. This was a whole seven days. And I've heard stories of people in the United, well, not Hawaii, from Florida, California, where it takes about six, seven days. So that's very unfortunate because our plants are alive and we're scared they're gonna die. <sighs> so it's a moment of truth, guys. I hope I'm not crying at the end of this video. Okay, so first thing we see here is I'm going to make a mess in my living room because there's a lot of shredded newspaper, but that's a good thing because that means there's a lot of, ins of insulation. So let me grab a baggie so we can not make a humongous mess. Yes, yes, I'm happy to see all this newspaper here. The leaves look yellow. This is so sad. It only came with two leaves and I already see yellow. This is so sad. Um, my, they're completely dead, guys. Oh my, 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 my. Yep, I was bound to have a horror story. Bound to have a horror story. <sighs> Let me get a moment here. This was a new leaf that was about to unfurl. These are dead. Like, look at the stem, it's completely dead. Very sad. I don't know why this happened to me. I guess because it's winter. I know a lot of other people I saw in the reviews had ordered in winter and theirs arrived fine. I saw a lot of pretty pictures so their their plants and they had arrived fine. So I wasn't patient and I made two mistakes. I ordered in winter and I ordered from Hawaii where, I, where it might take longer to be delivered. This is the ugliest plant I've ever seen, and it was supposed to be my most beautiful plant I have in my collection. It's super dry. So what happened? It's super, super, super dry. And it's water. Okay guys, I'm gonna pause this video so I can cry a little bit, okay? Okay guys, so this is my saddest story till today. Um, not every story is a happy story. Um, what am I thinking? I'm thinking um, the seller, it's not their fault I guess. I hope the seller helps me and 
I did purchase the, I did pay 30 extra dollars so I could got, get express priority mail that comes with up to $100 insurance. So hopefully I can get my 30 bucks off the shipping. That was not, definitely did not, it says money back guarantee. I've never processed a refund with this, so I'm gonna try it. If you guys know how this works, all I have is the tracking number. The money I paid, I paid it to not, I paid it to the Etsy seller. So I don't know if the Etsy seller is the one that's gonna have to help me process this refund. refund. Um, it did come up to, did I say up to $100 money back? The plant was more than $100, so what can you do? Maybe I should have been patient and waited until I found it at a nursery, especially an expensive plant. But you live and you learn what you're gonna do, right? So that's that. I put it in water and um, the nub looks green. At least one nub. There's another nub. I guess, I guess I don't know what this was, but this one's green. From here on, it looks terrible. So I'm gonna put this in my IKEA greenhouse and see what happens. Do you guys have any suggestions? Let me know. Okay guys, so um, this plant. <laughs> so I've been analyzing, thinking what to do. I almost wanted to take it out of here and check out the roots, but then I stopped and I thought, no, it's not suggested that you give it another shock by unpotting it and repotting it. So even though I wanted to see the roots from touching the dirt or the soil, I could see that it was a very dry soil so I don't think there's root rot because it was a dry soil. I think the sad plant's really sad because it's dry and maybe because of the cold, maybe it got some burnt, burnt. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this little uh, leaf because look, it was completely dry. And that was not gonna serve any purpose. Guys, if you saw the actual picture of this when there was a it was alive it was gorgeous gorgeous anyhow um this one right over here yeah i'm cutting it off it just kind of broke off very easily i had a little bit there but see all this is dead and crispy so <laughs> no way to bring this bringing this back alive um okay guys so um have a little cup here ready with some holes here for drainage and uh i'm gonna prep it so i can use this top cutting to hopefully reroute this top cutting. So as you can see here, let me put a little bit of sphagnum here, getting this ready. Um, so as you can see here, um, it's broken off. Basically it's hanging on by a thread. So we're gonna go ahead and let it go. And you see how ugly that part looks already. So we're gonna cut off just a little bit there. That looks good. Do I put rooting hormone? Maybe. I'm thinking of putting some rooting hormone here. So basically, this is a nodule. So the plan is we're going to stick this whole thing in sphagnum moss all the way up to here. We want no, normally a nodule is where the it's going to uh, root, root from. So we're hoping roots will come out of here. And then hopefully this leaf will either make it or fall off because of the shock. But did you guys see there's another leaf here that was about to pop out also? So either way, if you reroot at some point, it should give us new leaves. Um, look at that little fur. That's part of why I wanted to wear a cosome because of the little fur there. You can see some of the red here. Such a beautiful, beautiful specimen. Too bad you cannot enjoy seeing it. Um, but one day, one day, we'll have a nice video out of this um, very cosome. Hopefully this one and I won't have to purchase another one. Okay, so the plan down here is that we are going to wait. I don't want to mess with the roots right now. So question is, should I cut off a little bit there? Because it looks very ugly, right? And uh, I don't know. I feel like I do. I have to cut off a little bit. Because anything that's dry and ugly, it's not going to help the plant. You know, that looks better. That looks better. So that's a nacho right there. That's a nacho right there. That's a nacho right there. Should I just leave it like this and see what happens? Um, 
that's kind of what I'm thinking. I uh, put it in my IKEA greenhouse with a lot of humidity. And uh, but guys, I really uh, this is the first for me experiencing this. So if you guys have any suggestions, what should I do to this nub? Just leave it like this. Um, like it looks green and looks firm. This little other part is super dry. Um, it's I don't know if I should cut it off or just leave it. I don't think I think at some point it'll probably just fall off. So I'm gonna go get a little bit of. I don't know, like if I put rooting hormone here, it's not gonna root from here, it's gonna root from here. But I don't want any root rot. That's why I wanna put some rooting hormone in there. I know you can also put some um, candle wax, um, but I think I have rooting hormone, so I'm gonna go get it. Okay guys, so I have some rooting hormone inside this little plastic bag, and sorry, let me show you, this is a rooting hormone I'm using. And um, so it can just help prevent some root rot here on this edge, on this little tip. Okay. Okay, so that's that. And then we're going to take it to this little cup. Pushing it in a little. And I have my sphagnum moss wet. Kind of went crooked. How did that happen? That looks good, right? So yeah, made sure the nodule was underneath the sphagnum moss. And these new leaves are free. And we're gonna put this in the IKEA greenhouse and give it a lot of humidity and keep it moist. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens there. So um, the question is what we're gonna do with this. So I'm gonna research and try to see what we should do with this. Leave it here in the soil or not? Okay, so after asking some advice, um, I was told to check the roots, not from the Etsy seller that I bought it from because they're not good at responding at all. <sighs> okay, but um, the other Etsy seller from the other plant is actually one that I asked her opinion since she's really good at responding. She said, look at the roots, make sure there's no root rot. Although I didn't want to disturb it too much, but I guess if there's root rot, it's not good. So we're going to check the root rot. I can tell this plant has very, very thin roots. I don't think I have has root rot. The bad thing is I just watered it. <laughs> so it makes it a little more difficult. Very nice and airy mix. It's so dark, I can't see. Can you guys see? I feel like I have a shadow here. I think they're fine. They're not falling apart. You see here, right here? They're not falling apart. They look a good color. I'm gonna say there's no root rot here. So then I don't wanna disturb the roots anymore. I'm gonna put it back. Because they're such thin roots, I don't want to disturb it. Okay, so the roots look good to me. I'm going to leave it. But this dry stump here, I'm going to cut it down. You can see it looks like a little rhizome. I don't know what you call this little base. That's where this stem came out of. That's a good stem. So I'm just going to cut this because it's dry. And it's no use for the plant. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay, and I was trying not to disturb too much the roots. I wanted to check it out, but didn't want to disturb it too much. So... This soil looks like a good mixture. It's, it has a lot of perlite. 
but at the same time you can tell it has a lot of um, soil composition i think this one likes has such thin roots that you don't want to you don't want it to dry out completely you want to kind of stay moist and that's what happened to this plant because it doesn't want to dry out completely and it dried out completely i think that was the biggest damage was the whole drying out part okay so there i was very gentle with these roots and i did not take out all of the soil medium because i didn't want it to disrupt it but okay, we're coming back okay baby so it has been watered as you can tell so i'm going to try to keep it moist and i'm going to keep it in the ikea greenhouse and uh wait for this little stem to to give some new leaves yeah yes okay so um we'll see what happens and how long it takes part of the game okay so here we are with the other unboxing um and um this is uh coming from california and i'm in north carolina so it does mean crossing the whole north carolina the whole united states from west coast to east coast and I was just seeing the date when I purchased it. I purchased it um, February 10th um, and it is February 16th. So it's five days later and it has arrived. I did not pay for any express shipping um, and it took five days. It says it was supposed to take priority mail, it was supposed to be three days, um, but it still says here it was delivered on the expected delivery date, which is 2-16, which is today. Um, so I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous because the other was not a good experience. I did purchase a heat pack. There's a heat pack in here. Uh, I don't even want to see the plants anymore because I am already seeing not good at all. Not good at all. Not good at all. Let me just faint right now. This is supposed to be a pink splash syngonium. Why? Why? There's like a cup. There's sphagnum moss. I mean, what do I do with this plant? I mean... I guess they put it in this cube so it wouldn't hurt itself, but... I mean, what do you guys think? Look at the color. Was it the, the cold killed it? I don't know. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to insert pictures of what this used to look like when I bought it. I got this one from Etsy and Etsy seller and um, it was a great communication with her um, prior for her sending it. She showed me the roots. All this was pink because this is a pink splash and this was the green part. And you'll see it in the pictures that I'm attaching. It was a beauty. But I wanna say The cold, it was, you know, I don't know. I think it was the cold, I don't know. The sphagnum moss is still a little damp. So what should I do with this plant? I don't know, I'm really sad because these plants have gone to waste. So I, I'm just puzzled because you guys have been seeing my unboxings. I've been ordering other plants through winter and they've all been arriving perfectly great shape. That's why I kept ordering right now in winter because I thought as long as I ordered a heat pack, um, shipping was not more than other plants. It took about five days also, and they were completely fine. Um, I ordered a white syngonium algo, and you guys saw how it arrived perfect. So that's why I'm really puzzled to what happened to these two plants. 
like I said, one from Hawaii, Hawaii, the very wholesome, and this one is from California, and uh, I don't know. I don't know, but this was not good. <laughs> ah, so I'm just going to um, message my uh, the people I bought them from and see if they can give me any kind of suggestions and see what we, where we take it from here. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know maybe in an update if somehow these can come back alive or in a resurrection or something. <laughs> Miracle? Miracle, please. Okay, guys, so I contacted the seller of this pink splash. <laughs> she suggested, she said she wanted a picture of the roots. She saw the roots. She said it was good news that the roots look good. Um, so she suggested I can cut off all the dead leaves so i cut down and of course i let the left the nodule there she suggested to put it back in the sphagnum moss so that's what we are doing here and i'm hoping that this should um give new leaves in the future and i just wanted you guys to see so i can document it maybe in my instagram stories and i can put a little bit of if this gives us new leaves eventually and then you guys can see the beauty of it um let's do it Let's do it. Let's pull some out. This is the same sphagnum moss that it came in. So, put sphagnum all over it. Pulling it out. And uh, this is just a plastic cup. Did put some holes on the bottom. And we're just going to keep this sprayed and damp so the roots can live. And we're gonna put this in the Ikea greenhouse so it can have a lot of humidity. So that's that. <sighs> okay, well, that was my unboxing. It is a sad day. I wanna go to my bed and cry right now, but it's a beautiful sunny day, so we're not gonna do that because it's a beautiful sunny day and I have a lot of other beautiful plants. Um, it hurts me that a beautiful plant died and it hurts me that I spent all this money was not a cheap plan. I don't even want to talk about the price anymore. <laughs> so lesson learned, maybe just stick to your local nurseries and big box stores. And that way you'll have a secure plant. I don't know, guys. Um, it's just one of those games you play, but I guess it is better to wait for spring. What's worrying me now is I have several plants in, uh, in, uh, that I've ordered already online. Ah! Anyhow, guys, um, let me know if you have any suggestions and, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's just hope for the best and we live and we learn. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for your support. Okay, my name is Deanna. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content sharing my plant journey. And um, don't forget to subscribe and I hope you enjoy my videos. Thanks. Bye.